In this video, we will talk about the remodeling of muscles. Muscle remodeling is basically changes in muscle structure to adapt to the specific requirements placed on them. For example, if we start lifting heavier weights, our muscles will undergo remodeling to become stronger and more efficient. Muscle remodeling can occur relatively quickly, typically within a few weeks. This allows our muscles to adapt in a relatively short period. This diagram shows the gross anatomy of a skeletal muscle. We know that muscles are made up of muscle fibers. During remodeling, several of its parameters may change. The diameter of the muscle fibers can increase, making them larger. The length of the muscle can also be adjusted to maintain proper muscle contraction. Even the number of muscle fibers may also increase in extreme cases. Additionally, the vascular supply, which provides nutrients to the muscle, may also undergo changes to support the increased demands. Depending on the parameter affected, the types of remodeling are hypertrophy, atrophy, hyperplasia, and adjustment in length. Let's see each of them in more detail. First, hypertrophy. It means an increase in the diameter of the muscle fibers. It's like they get fatter. This is achieved by increasing the number of actin and myosin filaments in each muscle fiber. This process may involve thickening or even splitting of the myofibrils within the muscle fibers. Additionally, the enzyme system responsible for providing extra energy also increases. All this growth leads to an increase in the total mass of the muscle. It occurs in response to increased functional demands such as weightlifting exercises or repetitive muscle contraction. So this was hypertrophy. Now atrophy. Atrophy is the opposite of hypertrophy. It refers to a decrease in the total mass of the muscle. It's like muscle fibers are getting slimmer. It occurs when a muscle remains unused for an extended period. During atrophy, the rate of degradation of muscle proteins exceeds the rate of their generation. So this results in a decrease in muscle mass. The primary mechanism responsible for this degradation is the ATP-dependent ubiquitin proteasome pathway. So this was about atrophy. Next, hyperplasia. It refers to an increase in the number of muscle fibers. It's like they are expanding their family by having kids. This increase is achieved through the linear splitting of previously enlarged muscle fibers. It occurs when extreme force generation is required. However, the increase in the number of muscle fibers is minimal, and it occurs only up to a few percent. So, that was hyperplasia. Now let's talk about adjusting the length of the muscle. We know that myofibrils are made up of an array of sarcomeres. Now, when muscles are stretched beyond their normal length, new sarcomeres are added at the ends of the muscle fibers. This results in the lengthening of the muscle. This lengthening helps accommodate the increased stretch. On the other hand, if a muscle remains shortened for an extended period, the sarcomeres at the ends of the muscle fibers are deleted. This causes muscle shortening. So this was all about muscle remodeling. Now let's have a quick summary. Muscle remodeling occurs to match the requirements placed on the muscles. Hypertrophy is an increase in the total mass of the muscle by enlarging individual muscle fibers. It occurs when the muscle is loaded during the contractile process. Atrophy is a decrease in the total mass of the muscle, which happens when the muscle remains unused for an extended period. Hyperplasia is the increase in the number of muscle fibers due to extreme force generation. And finally, adjustment of muscle length occurs depending on how much the muscle is being stretched on a regular basis. That's it for this video.